Hello everyone, my name is Toby and welcome back to an RPG Maker tutorial. I'm using RPG Maker MV for this tutorial, but I think this puzzle should work in VX Ace as well because it doesn't use any plugins or scripts or anything, it's all event based and all the event uh, choices uh, are available in both programs. So today I'm telling you about time switches, last time we went over weighted switches this time time switches so basically the character is going to step on the switch it's going to make this gate raise up a time limit is going to play out if you don't make it in time the gate will close back down I will quickly show you what I mean the player steps on the switch the gate raises up then we have to navigate through the maze the timer runs out and the gate closes. So um, we've got three events for this. Um, this second event up here, the shadow, is totally optional. It's a little graphical thing that I added. If you notice when the gate raised up there was a shadow beneath it. Now all I'm doing there is uh, positioning this event to this square when the gate goes up and then I'm moving it back uh, when the gate comes back down. Let's quickly go over the switch event. I've made it a yellow switch because yellow switches in my game are going to be timed and red ones are going to be weighted. You can choose any colour you like. Uh, make sure you have below characters so you can walk on top of the event and play a touch as the trigger. Um, this means that when your character walks on top of the switch and it touches the event it will play out the contents of this page. I've got two sound effects here, one is for the switch uh, as if you've stepped on the switch and made a noise, the other is for the sound of the gate moving upwards. Cell switch A is now on. Now what that's going to do is it's going to trigger the next page now the reason I've got the next page is because we want to have the event graphic change so make sure your condition cell switch A is on change the event graphic to the depressed switch below characters still is a priority but this time we want the trigger to be parallel the reason I want it to be parallel is because we want this whole thing to play out um, in the background as we're moving the character around um, so because it's a the timer is controlled by a wait command that means uh, this event needs to play in the background therefore it needs to be a parallel trigger so what happens the character steps on the switch cell switch A is on and then this whole thing starts playing out so we've got a switch here called timed switch so we control switches make sure that switch is on this is basically going to be um, a trigger for the gate event which I'll go over in just a second then we have it wait five seconds um, and then we'll move the gate shadow event um, set event location so you go set event location gate shadow which is just a graphic that I made in Photoshop um, so we move that event to where the gate originally was and then we've got the timer set so you've got 540 frames if you don't know what frames are um, basically 60 frames uh, is one second in the game so every frame is like a tick and it ticks 60 times every second so that's how many like measurements you can you can do things like time in in this game or this game design program so 540 frames now the game is going to wait 540 frames before it does the next thing in this list, this contents list. Uh, so when that timer is up we're going to play a sound effect to turn the switch off. Um, turn the timed switch off as well which is what we turned on at the start which will make the gate go down. Uh, then we'll wait five frames, set the event location of the shadow back to its original position out of the way. Anywhere on the map is fine, just as long as it's out of the way. Uh, control cell switch A 
is off which basically reverts back to this page and then plays a gate sound effect to sound like the gate is closing so that's this this event covered um, back to the time switch so when this event plays this page it will turn time switch on now you want to create another event for your gate or your door or whatever it is that's going to be blocking the player um, I've called it gate uh, so make sure you click a, a gate graphic or whatever graphic you want turn off walking stepping turn on direction fix that means when the gate moves it won't change into another graphic or anything like that um, have the priority set to same as characters so your character cannot walk through it and the parallel the trigger will be parallel now basically we've got a conditional branch here and it's constantly checking because of the parallel trigger it's constantly running in the background it's constantly asking is timed switch on so what that's me what that means is when this time switch is on when we trigger it by pressing the yellow switch then it will trigger these two things so the first thing we're going to set the movement route for this event the gate event we're going to turn through on and move up and then we're going to do cell switch a is on so what that's going to do is that's going to turn through on so that it can move into this square now normally it wouldn't be able to move into it because this is um, this rock you can't walk on top of a rock it's in the way now events don't normally um, just walk into things like that they don't normally just go over whatever um, they have to have through on which means it can pass through things so we've turned through on and then we've moved it up one so at this point in the event it's here uh, then it triggers the cell switch A is on now this page make sure you the condition is set to cell switch A is on so this page is running um, this time I've clicked through as on uh, there's a specific reason for this because if through is off then uh, the event it sort of it thinks that it can't move through things anymore um, so it's important that you've got that ticked if you're doing it this way um, if you're not doing it this way and there's nothing in the way then don't worry about that uh, time switch is off this time so in the conditional branch this time again it's parallel so now it's checking is the switch off and then if it is off then it will move the event back down and through is off and cell switch A is off as well which reverts this back to this page so it's in a loop so it's like this page is it on if it is yes it triggers this page is it off it's off it goes back to this page so basically time switch A is on that's going to trigger the gate to move up because it's on then you're going to wait for however many frames you want to wait I've picked 540 I think that's a good amount to get through the maze but it's not too easy and then after that time is up the time switch is off which is going to make the gate go back down or reappear or whatever it is you're using so let's save it let's do a little test so your character steps on it time switches on therefore the gate raises now we're waiting 540 frames at the end of that the time switch is going to so the gate goes back down and we can't get through therefore we have to go back through the maze and then be a bit quicker this time Also notice where the shadow is again it's completely optional but the shadow disappears when the gate goes back down um, yeah so that's pretty much all there is to it you can do it with two events you don't have to have the shadow it's optional um, so if you've got any questions um, just ask them in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible uh, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed, liked, left a comment, shared. It really helps um, the channel out and it really motivates me to make more tutorials. 
Uh, so all that's left to say is thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.